Southern Rail Fan is the place for amazing videos of all types of trains. Southern Rail Fan, subscribe today. Okie doke, I'm not sure if CSX had some type of maintenance uh, going on on this part of the uh, Blue Ridge subdivision, but uh, not a single daylight train today. But I've had a couple of questions in the comment sections about uh, foreign power and I want to see some more archive stuff. So that's what we'll look at in this video. We'll go back and look at some of the foreign power that's come through on the Norfolk and Southern. I said in a couple times in, in past videos, the line's always been a secondary line. Well, not always, but here in the last 20 years or so, the S line that runs from uh, Salisbury, North Carolina to Knoxville, Tennessee. Well, it's all, I keep saying always, for a long time it was known as the S line. And about a year ago, year and a half ago, NS uh, changed around some of their lines and now they call it the AS line. But these uh, videos we're getting ready to look at are uh, from when it was still the S line. And the first one is uh, some Canadian Pacific power on uh, 135. So let's look at it. As far and as you can get, uh, this next train is uh, NS-134, which is 135's counterpart with a uh, uh, BNSF, Faramex, 
I think there might be something else on it, so let's take a look at it. Alrighty, this next one is another 135 with some more uh, Canadian Pacific uh, units on it, uh, passing my old stomping ground, I guess you could call it. Uh, it was the NS Moody Town, I guess you could say. It's where I went. At the time I was filming these videos, I was pretty sick, and that's about as far as I could get. So uh, a lot of the videos are filmed you know, right around there. So let's take a look at this one.
our last one has got a really odd ball on it. Was uh, uh, Union Pacific uh, absorbed Chicago and Northwestern, and Union Pacific has so many engines. You know, they send out lease engines and run through power and all that stuff. We see a lot uh, did when the line was active. See a lot of Union Pacific. So. Uh, when they absorb Southern Pacific, of course, we would see some Southern Pacific stuff. When they absorb, uh, technically, when they absorb Denver and Rio Grande, which actually, it's kind of weird how that happened. Denver and Rio Grande took over Southern Pacific, but kept Southern Pacific name and got rid of all the Rio Grande stuff. And of course, Union Pacific took over Southern Pacific. But anyway, we catch a... Uh, Chicago and Northwestern on this one. Alrighty, that's our video for today. So hopefully we'll get out and be able to catch uh, something tomorrow. Now sometime tomorrow, uh, M892 will be coming north with uh, the Santa Claus train, which is CSX's executive uh, train. I'm not sure if it's going to have all the cars, but I believe it's the three locomotives, but they're running it through on the uh, M892. So the locomotives will be at the, the front with the regular locomotives and then the passenger car consists are going to be uh, pulling up the rear. So it'll be strange, but it'll be a neat thing to see. But most likely the way that's going to work out, it'll probably come through here during the dark. So anyway, we'll listen out, see what we can catch. See you guys tomorrow.